What are right realist theories of crime and deviance? Introduction Realist theories see crime as a real problem to be solved and not simply a social construction created by the control agencies, by contrast to approaches like labeling theory and critical criminology. Realist approaches appeared in the 1970s and 1980s during a climate when politics shifted more towards the right on the political spectrum. Both in the UK and in North America, new right conservative governments were voted in, for example, Margaret Thatcher in the UK and Ronald Reagan in the United States. These governments believed in decreasing the welfare state and focusing on law and order, getting tough on crime with increased use of the death penalty in the United States, and prisons. Realists believe that there has been a significant rise in crimes, particularly assault, burglary, and street crime. Realist theory is also concerned about the widespread fear of crime and about the impact it has on its victims. This theory states that other approaches that explain crime and deviance, such as labeling and neo-Marxism, have failed to offer realistic solutions to the issues of crime. There are two approaches to realist theory, divided along political lines. Right realists agree with the new right or neoconservative political view. Left realists are socialists and take a different stance for reducing crime. Right realism Right realism reflects the political climate with those of the neoconservative governments during the 1970s and 1980s. For example, criminologists produced many theories of crime but with no workable solutions to cut the rising crime rates. As such, policymakers argued that nothing was working. The result, both in the UK and the United States, were views that the best way to curb crime was through tough control and tough punishments instead of rehabilitating offenders or tackling the causes of crime, like, for example, poverty. Marxists argue that structural economic factors, such as inequality and poverty, are the cause of crime. Right realists reject the idea put forward by Marxists and instead argue there are three factors that lead to crime. Inadequate socialization and development of the underclass, rational choice to offend, and individual biological differences. Biological Differences Hernstein and Murray, in 1994, stated that one biologically determined factor caused crime, namely low intelligence. Wilson and Hernstein, in 1985, had previously argued for a biosocial theory of criminal behavior. According to this theory, the cause for crime was based on a mix of social and biological factors. So, biological differences between people make them more innately predisposed to commit crime than others. Personality traits like low impulse control, risk-taking, and aggressiveness place some individuals at a greater risk of creating crimes. The Underclass Theory According to American political scientist Charles Murray, a distinct lower-class subculture exists below the working class in both the UK and USA. This social group, the underclass, consents to deviant and criminal values rather than mainstream societal norms and values, and they socialize the next generation into these deviant values. Murray states that the underclass are defined by their behavior. Their homes are littered and unkempt. The men in the family are unable to hold down a job. Drunkenness is common. The children grew up ill-schooled and ill-behaved and contribute to a disproportionate share of juvenile delinquents. 1989. David Marsland states that the welfare state creates welfare dependency, which in turn has created this social class. People emerged who, in Marsland's view, were work shy and chose to live off state benefits rather than working. Murray claims this group lacks moral values, such as belief in marriage and the family, which are shared by mainstream society. For example, Murray identified that a large proportion of children of the underclass come from lone parent families, 
often young mothers. The absence of a father figure means children lack role models and turn to delinquent role models who encourage and influence these youngsters on their path to a deviant career. Right realists see this so-called underclass as the prime reason for increased crime rates on council estate and inner city areas. Concept Time The Underclass The term underclass is a difficult concept to discuss, often because it's highly loaded, but also because it's difficult to research. That is, would a person completing a questionnaire or being interviewed admit they are from the underclass? The underclass theory has been criticized because theorists, such as Charles Murray, have failed to provide adequate evidence that this class exists. For example, questionnaire surveys aimed at investigating poor people show that these people agree with the same types of beliefs as most people do. Rational Choice Theory Ron Clark, 1980, states that the decision to commit crime is based on rational calculations of the possible consequences. Hence, individuals have a free will and can make rational, reasoned choices. According to rational choice theory, if the rewards outweigh the risk of committing crime compared to a non-criminal behavior, the individuals are more likely to offend. Right realists believe that the perceived cost of crime is currently low, which means crime rates increase. For example, criminals regard the possible consequence of committing a crime as weak, for example, low prison sentences, being cautioned, or receiving an ASBO, and also believe that the risk of being caught is also low. Evaluation Ignores the broader structural causes like poverty. The underclass theory fails to provide convincing empirical evidence, which is based on primary research, that the underclass as a distinct subculture with distinct values and behaviors actually exists. Rex and Tomlinson point out that poverty is often caused by external factors, for example, global recession and governmental policies. So they reject the idea that a deviant subculture exists, which is voluntarily unemployed and devoted to deviant behavior. Right realist theory exaggerates the rationality of criminals. For example, is violent crime really underpinned by rationality? Summary Realist theories regard crime as a significant problem, particularly for the poor. Right realists are conservatives who see crime as a combination of biological factors, like being destined to commit crime, and social factors, like poor socialization. Crime is a rational choice based on a calculation between potential reward and risk. And right realists focus on deterring people from committing crimes through tough punishment and preventative methods.